I finally chose a my putter for 2023. I know that's a bold statement, we're in January, but I'm gonna commit to this putter for the entire season. But before that, these are all the putters I have ever owned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Nine putters that I could find. Um, I'm sure there's plenty more in the garage. Now, in this video, I'm gonna talk you through why I bought these, why I fell out of love with it, which I think we can all relate to, and I'm going to be giving away a Scotty Cameron in this video. This putter, and this is probably the first putter that I remember like buying that wasn't like part of a package set. This is a Yes, and this is the Yes Emma. Went through a craze of everybody buying these, and it was all about the grooves on this face. I think it was a C groove for memory. Uh, and I thought I'd go for this triangle thing, and in hindsight, I think it's the most ugly looking putter I've ever seen in my life right now and hate it. But what I liked about it at the time was the triangle and the lie on the back was really easy to line up. But if I'm being perfectly honest, what I liked about it was it's the only C group putter left in the pro shop and I had credit. So it was either that one or not have one. Next one we'll go for, if I can get it out, is this two ball putter. Now, <laughs> look how much lead tape is on this. And I remember having this putter and the head coming off once. Don't know why. I remember taking it away, um, maybe Golf Portugal or something, and I got there and I'm like, hey, my putter looks a bit funny here. <laughs> head was bent. Okay, so reason why I got this one, um, essentially it was when it first came out and I love the idea of the three balls in a row of being a really nice way of aligning the putter. And out of my old putters, this one is definitely one of my favorites. Next up, TaylorMade. Daytona Kia Mia Rossa. Now, this was like TaylorMade's answer to a Newport Scotty Cameron. And as you can see, there's a common theme here. I have put plenty of lead tape all over this one. It's the fact you wouldn't even know it's a TaylorMade putter. So this was like fully milled. I mean, you can see the face there. Really sort of all milled out of one piece. And again, not the stock grip on anything. Now, something quite special about this at the time, again, it was in the pro shop, um, but it had the tailor-made sort of tour preferred. And this was sort of bragging rights as a junior golfer. If you were a tour preferred putter, then you were like the Don. Okay, now the reason why I like this one was it was totally different to any putter I'd ever had. It was really small, sort of really precise. I remember having this in the summer on the fast greens it was really, really nice to be able to use. But one thing I didn't like about it on slow greens, I just couldn't get it to the hole. Scotty Cameron, California Del Mar. Now, I'm gonna tell you the truthful, honest story about this putter, and this is the one we're gonna be giving away. I remember Phil Mickelson winning um, the Masters, and I thought, if a heel shafted putter is good Hold enough it. for Phil, is good enough for me, and I'm gonna be as good as Phil. And that's honestly the only reason I bought it. I put it terribly with it. I'm really selling this putter to you right now, aren't I? That you should enter the giveaway. Uh, and by the way, I'll tell you how to enter it towards the end of this video, so stick around. So the idea was that I got this because I saw Phil put really, really well. But one thing that I didn't get on with, this is like my first ever Scotty Cameron. And because I wasn't very good at putting at the time, like. I couldn't control the pace control. One time I get out the middle, it would blast past. And other times I get out the tone, it was, it was short. I really didn't get on with it. And that's so, sort of the only memories that I had of this putter. But I have to say, it really does look special behind the ball. So, Scotty Calvin, California Del Mar, what a beaut. So now we're on an Odyssey V-Line Big T. So story behind this one, and as you can see, again, not got the stock grip on it plenty of lead tape. I don't, honestly, I just pick up a putter and it's just not heavy enough. So, story behind this one, I remember playing my first ever open qualifying where Tom Murray caddied for me, right? And the day before, I was like, I'm putting crap. So I went in the pro shop, again, I had some credit, there's a common theme here, um, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Ordered it, bought it, and put it into uh, open qualifying, um, and using it the day before. Not a great tactic, and as you can see, it's not in the bag right now, so you can sort of guess how this one went as well. Uh, and actually, my dad has this in his bag. Uh, one thing that I found with this putter, you can see there, I left that one short, the face was really soft. I would definitely like this putter a little bit more if this face is a little bit firmer. 
like that sort of meshy sort of metal, I don't know what it is, just feels like it dampens and softens the face. And every one of the putters that I've had so far has been quite a firm face. So yeah, not a firm favorite this one. We're now down to the final three putters. That isn't what you think it is. That is a different head cover that I've just acquired. I don't actually have the head cover for it. Um, then we've got a Cobra and we've got Bettinardi, which you might have seen a little bit on the channel up to this point. So we said the giveaway, the Scotty Cameron California Del Mar, the one that I put it so well with that I kept in my bag for so long, but I thought I'd give away to you guys. It sounds like I'm just palming it off. No, my honest answer is that I've got so many putters here, they're just sat in the garage. I thought it'd give you guys a chance and give it, hopefully, a good home. Hold it. Now, to enter this giveaway, make sure you just subscribe to this channel, share this video, and comment down below what your current putter is. So get down in those comments and uh, yeah, I look forward to posting it out to one of you personally and hopefully you have more joy with it than me. It's a great sales pitch. Never be a salesman. <laughs> okay, so next putter. We're going to go with this one. Now, I can't claim any lead tape for this one. Tom Murray gave me this. Now, this is actually a bit of a story behind this. This is actually a tour only putter. And I'll tell you why. This face and this shaft you couldn't get at the time. I'm sure right now you can. I mean, you can see where it's chipped because it's quite old. Now, this putter was actually that long one, which was when people went through that phase of having like the really long grip. This one you can see on the screen right here, but Tom cut it down and um, made it like this length. Now, I kept this putter in the bag for so, so long because I love the look, as you look down on it, of the difference between the white and the black and the line, which he got some nail varnish and painted yellow, which was red. Um, bit of customization. Yeah, this was an absolute favorite. Like, this is probably one of the putters that I could pick up and pop in the bag. Um, pop in the bag straight away. So for, for sure, this is one of my favorites. Love the feel, it's firmer, and it's real easy to line up. 3D printed putter. This is the Cobra Supernova. So this whole sort of structure of this putter is 3D printed. Now, there's a few things I really like about this. I remember Luke Donald put in really, really well, and I never had the guts or the money to actually buy a Fang Odyssey putter. Like, they were hot. When he was world number one, everybody wanted them, right? Like, I remember it being at the golf club, and there was a massive phase of them having it. So, I was, I was lucky enough to be gifted one of these many, many years later. So, I really like this putter in the fact that when you look down on it, there is two straight lines and one thin line. So you get a real good sense of good alignment. And I think that's massive in a putter. I had this putter in the bag for, well, I reckon sort of eight months to the point where I really started to like this from those shorter putts. This is not a short putt. I hit one from here and we'll show you it. So like it felt good from this distance and this range, but then you know that must make length, like sort of here where you might have hit a stinker of a first putt or you've chipped it on, this is where it felt really good. I could just sort of go straight back, straight through, just using them lines. I feel a lot of pressure right now to hold this. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Now, this putter, you've seen me use it for a few weeks now, or actually a few videos. And I wanna say the reason why I'm shocked at this putter, if you look at all the putters that I've shown you and we've tested here today, None of them have been centre shafted. I've never ever had a centre shafted putter. I've wanted to have one and sort of gone, oh, you know what, it'd be quite nice to have one. But again, never really had the guts to do it. Don't know why. Um, so, story behind this one. I actually didn't buy this one. Um, I, unfortunately, uh, an older gentleman died and uh, the family said, would I, I knew this family well and said, would I want one of his putters? Um, if you can, if you help us out and, and clear the garage, for example. And yeah, well, they, they were kind enough to sort of gift me this. And I thought, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna keep it in the garage uh, or keep it. But then I used it in Scotland and fell in love with it. Now, the reason why I fell in love with it is like, you look down at this and the sort of triangle, the putter, and then that T really makes it so, so easy to line up, number one. Number two, I like the center shafted fact that I can get over the gold ball a little bit easier. My bad technique in the past has been when I've been too far away from it, so the ability to get over it is so much better. Also, I didn't realize that this putter 
is actually really expensive. $245 now if you were to buy it. So it's Bettinardi. It's got a honeycomb sort of design there. And like you run your fingers over it and you can sort of feel the sort of ridges and, and nodules of that face. What, I mean, some people might say it's ugly and to be fair, I can't argue with them, but it really does help me get aligned. I put really well with it. And for what I was reading online, this is milled out of one piece and it was uh, milled in Chicago. So there's a little bit of a story behind it. Ben Hogan, Bettinardi the Hawk. And I was lucky enough to be gifted it from a very, very nice family. And it will definitely, definitely, if they're not using it, it's gonna be going in the office on the side. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. What a video and what a giveaway. Please do subscribe and I look forward to joining you on another one of these Bat9 films.